prepare to be astounded, because what you're about to discover might just reshuffle every card in the deck of your mind. Did you know? On any given day, you spark more electric impulses within the cradle of your cranium than all the smartphones on the planet combined. Yes, nestled within your skull lies a network of over 100 billion neurons. To put that into perspective, if we represented each neuron with a single piece of paper and stacked them up, we'd eclipse Mount Everest, towering at a staggering 5,000 miles high making the trip from Los Angeles to London seem like a walk in the park. But there's a snag. Many folks are cruising through life, zombified by monotonous routines, blissfully unaware of the untapped power pulsating within them. Breaking free from the autopilot mode can seem like an insurmountable quest. That's why today, we're digging into the most powerful insights from Dr. Joe Dispenza's groundbreaking book on transforming your life by shedding the skin of the old you. Alright, gents, Max Sterling here with the Sterling Approach, where wisdom meets action. We're diving headfirst into the nitty-gritty of this paradigm-shifting volume, so keep your wit sharp there's no time for light-hearted banter when we're on the verge of unlocking brain-bending secrets. And remember, if you want to light the fire of change within you, gently press that subscription button, show us some love, and pave the path to your own transformation. Imagine this you're handed a set of keys to a grand piano, but you've never tinkered with its ivories before. Scientists thought it wise to see what kind of cerebral magic occurs when you immerse yourself in learning the piano. Four groups were formed. The first group practiced scales diligently for weeks, forming new neural pathways. Group two engaged in tuneless, random key bashing, which did diddly squat for their gray matter. A third group just sat there, making zero neural gains, obviously. But the fourth group, ah! They were tasked to mentally rehearse the scales without ever touching a piano key, and the result? Their brain structure mirrored that of the first group demonstrating that sheer mental power can rewire the brain. Dig this. Our brains aren't fixed, they're malleable wonders, ripe for sculpting the future. By simply imagining your aspirations, you could carve out neural highways leading straight to them. Our thoughts ensnare the potentiality to shape our reality, even in the absence of tangible experiences. Think about every marvel around you's birth first in the mind before it takes the tangible form. We've come to believe in our culture that to achieve change, we must begin with thought, which leads to action and culminates in becoming. This linear progression from think, do, be, is your old school, Newtonian model external events trigger internal shifts. However, enter the world of quantum physics, the realm where particles exist in multiple states, and the science that cradles our imagination. Suddenly, the game shifts. The rules of the quantum playground suggest an inside-out approach. Be, do, think. Turn the tables by embracing the identity of where you want to be, let actions follow, and watch your thoughts transform in concert. It's not about clumsily chasing the future, it's about pulling the future into your present. It's about standing in the power that seethes within you and declaring, I am already the titan of my own tail. Our brain operates on a triad conscious, emotional, and subconscious layers intertwined to script our persona. Presently, we slumber in routines that bind our brilliance. The task at hand is to unfetter this powerhouse, to unshackle the deity dormant in the depths of our domain. Rewiring requires repetition, new patterns need nurturing before they crystallize into character. Embrace meditation as your neural nurture. Let it be the soil in which you sow your future self. It's not an esoteric exercise reserved for the tranquil and touch at its a robust regimen, a cerebral gymnasium where fortitudes are forged. Forgo the hollow chance of fake it till you make it that's just putting on a show. Instead, act as if, because when the core shines true, the costume is no longer a disguise, but an expression of your essence. Now, as we sail towards the harbor of this discourse, ask yourself, what strategies from today's exploration am I ready to weave into the tapestry of my life? Remember, you're not a bystander to your biography. You're the chief craftsman, the principal playwright. And if today's insights kindle a light within you, feel free to extend your gratitude through a gesture as simple as a tip, whose details reside in our description. You're in the driver's seat, armed with the knowledge and grit to sculpt your saga, to transmute your dreams into the concrete and tangible. It's your mood, gentlemen. This is Max Sterling, signing off. May your days be many, and your tribulations few. Until next time, Carpe Diem sees the day and make it count. Welcome, my ambitious and astute friends. If you're eager to shift from the mundane cycle of earning and spending to a life where your wealth exponentially grows without your direct labor, tighten your seatbelt. 
we are about to dissect the essence of financial liberation through the timeless wisdom of rich dad, poor dad. Friends, let's scrutinize the notion of affluence. In this current year of 2023, being rich signifies more than a hefty bank balance that represents the freedom to live on your terms. Today we unwrap the financial intelligence secrets from Robert Kiyosaki's groundbreaking book, a tome that's transformed countless lives since its release. Imagine, for a moment, the book that has sold over 26 million copies a guide so profound yet meaty with insights that it reconfigures your mindset about money. These aren't mere hacks or predictions of the hot stocks of the year. These strategies pivot on empowering your intellect, your financial IQ, nurturing true wealth that outlasts any paycheck. Kiyosaki split our financial teachers into two archetypes, the well-intentioned but financially limited poor dad, and the entrepreneurial titan rich dad. From the contrasting lessons of these figures, we deduce that financial acumen isn't inherited. It's a skill honed through deliberate learning and application. Our financial beliefs are often inherited, unknowingly shackling us to cycles of scarcity or misunderstanding wealth's true mechanisms. To transcend, we must consciously seek potent financial role models and uplift our savvy to maneuver modern economical landscapes a landscape vastly different from previous generations. Seize this moment and understand that you're not poor, merely broke. It's a temporal state, not an eternal identity. This mindset transformation is an invaluable pivot. Switching out I can't afford this for how can I afford this? A change that fuels ambition over resignation. Grasp the notion of financial freedom. The wealthy don't work for money. They've mastered the art of making money work for them. This isn't a simple accumulation of paychecks but an orchestration of assets to create a self-sustaining wealth machine. If you're nodding along, thinking, money isn't everything, challenge yourself. Why devote a massive chunk of your waking hours earning it? Dedicate yourself to raising your financial IQ. Become so adept that work becomes a choice, not a necessity. Financial freedom equates to how many days you could thrive without working. The A? Assemble a portfolio of assets B in dividend-paying stocks, real estate, or patents that eclipse your need to trade time for income. Invest in yourself. The path to wealth isn't lined with shortcuts. It's a demanding terrain requiring insights into accounting, investing, market understanding, and legal knowledge to safeguard and grow your empire. Consider the quadrants of income, employee, business owner, self-employed, and investor. To acquire wealth, Kiyosaki urges us towards the realms of business ownership and investment, where our funds, not just our sweat, beget more funds. Know the distinction between assets and liabilities. An asset enriches you, a liability drains you. The quest for wealth? Pile up assets, shrink liabilities. It's not the income but the retained earnings that count. The power of compounding interest is the quiet force behind the rich getting richer. Assimilate this knowledge and witness your assets flourish over decades, rather than splurge on fleeting pleasures. Remember, pay yourself first. Before taxes, before bill censure a slice of your income solidifies your financial foothold. Should you fall short? Harness that pressure to drive creative solutions for additional income. How do we embark on this journey of financial sovereignty? It begins with self-education, the cornerstone of any endeavor. Shun the temptation to leap into investments without the foundational knowledge of how they work. Each day, each dollar, you command the helm will you steer towards destitution or abundance? The power to sculpt your financial destiny resides within the choices you make, moment by moment. Live within a fraction of your means. Embrace the principle of spending wisely, not widely. Dodge the escalation of your lifestyle with every pay increment. Instead, delegate those surges directly into your asset column. Who do you associate with? It's no secret we're the amalgamation of our closest companions. Surround yourself with the driven, with those who prioritize financial growth, and watch as their habits subtly graft onto you. Seek tools and resources that aid in financial mastery. Utilize apps like Mint.com to manage your wealth and consider platforms like Charles Schwab for simple investment solutions. Knowledge is abundant drink from the river of modern-day financial wisdom, including enlightening reads like Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game. Lastly, propagate what you've just absorbed. Share the enlightenment, discuss the nuances, and solidify your understanding. Teaching isn't just an act of generosity, it secures the lessons deep within your psyche. For those seeking to delve deeper, the detail and substance offered here are merely the introduction to an exhilarating world of financial intellect, tools, and principles that guide the way to true freedom. Now, I implore you, distinguish this acquired knowledge with action. What will you implement to transform your financial destiny? 
If this video has bestowed value upon you, perhaps you consider offering a gratuity, proportionate to the insight gained, which you can find in the video description. And remember IF you've savored the wealth of information laid before you, and the quest of self-reinvention beckons, what are you waiting for? Let your journey to financial liberty begin now. Subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and watch as not only your knowledge multiplies, but as your assets do too. Thank you for tuning in. We'll resume next time with another treasure trove of wisdom to enhance your financial mastery and fortify your life's ambitions.